you remember the first picture that I showed you when I said in my first tutorial that I would show you how to take a picture like that? That's exactly what I'm going to do right now. So I have these little finger LEDs. Uh, you may have heard of them. You can get them on Amazon or I think eBay as well. I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, so these are pretty cool. You, I got them, my brother actually, and um, you get four of these LEDs in one pack and that's uh, four colors red blue green and white so that's green that's blue that's red and that's white so we're going to use these um, to paint the background now my lighter is the one that I'm going to use to um, paint my the orange um, it's going to be a steady light it's I'm not going to move it around I'm going to keep it on my camera since there's no better place to keep it I couldn't find anything else. Um, it's going to be on my camera, the CSX50. Uh, it's going to be there. It's going to be steadily pointing at the orange while the shutter stays open. And also when I'm painting with these four LEDs in the background. I would also recommend actually using a black background of some sort, say, a uh, black piece of cloth or a black blanket or something like that. One advantage of actually painting the background is that you don't need a black background to substitute because your background will be completely colored and it won't make much of a difference whether you have the black sheet in the background or not. So it's up to you whether you want to keep that because it's pointless for this kind of a picture. So I'll show you exactly how I do that. Now Alright, so again, manual mode, and of course manual focus, and again 15 seconds, this time I'm using an aperture, that's an f-stop of 8, so it's my lowest aperture, and again, a self-timer of 2 seconds, and my white balance is again set to flash, now my ISO is still 80 because I can't fiddle with that. Alright, so this is... I've shown you my setup and my settings. They're basically the same as the previous uh, tutorial. Uh, I'm using a shutter speed of 15 seconds, which is sl the slowest, the sorry, longest I can go on the S650. Uh, aperture of 8 this time and not 5 like we used the last time. And uh, white balance remains set to flash. And ISO obviously 80 because I can't change it. And final thing. This lighter is pointed directly at the orange, uh, so that it's going to stay like that the entire time the shutter stays open. Uh, while also, that's just to fill in the backgrounds because if I don't have light pointing at the orange from the front, then I'm just going to get a silhouette, and that is not the result I'm going for. Now, silhouettes are pretty cool, but that's not what I want right now, so I'm going to have to fill in the shadows. Let's take the picture. Alright now light painting with the LEDs. So I'll just paint the background. The lighter is still pointed at the orange so that should give me a good fill light. Okay now light paint over the orange a little bit. Yep that should do. So we'll just see how that turned out. Alright, so as I showed you, I missed a spot in the first attempt. Towards the bottom right, I didn't paint the background properly. So this time I'm going to try and fill in the gaps, fill in the blanks, so to speak. Um, my LEDs are here, as always, and I love them. Well, figuratively. Okay, now we missed a spot in the first tutorial, somewhere around here we missed. So I'm going to fill it in again. So. Right, there it goes, here it goes. So I'm just moving my arm as well as my fingers a little bit. I'm not going to paint the orange, just the background. Okay, that's that. Well, I just want to thank you for coming back to watch my second tutorial. Um, if you have any requests, uh, please leave a comment and I will try and show you how you could uh, get those results. Now. The main reason I'm creating these tutorials is because most people think that you really need a DSLR or a 
professional camera to take really amazing pictures. Now, I don't really believe in that. Uh, well, of course, having great equipment does help, but it's not everything. So you can do a lot with the camera that you already have. Thank you for watching, and uh, as always, subscribe and share, and uh, we will meet again. Have a nice day.